Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cashay, and you are watching Shay with the Hobbies. Y'all, it's announcement time. Announcement time. Y'all, it's that time of year again. Time for the second annual Missy Elliott Readathon. Y'all, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So, for those of you guys who don't know, Black History Month, aka February, is right around the corner. And for Black History Month, I decided that I wanted to create a readathon honoring the icon, the legend, the avant garde game changer sensation, if you know, you know, Missy Elliott. And so last year, the first year of the readathon was Missy Elliott's Greatest Hit Tour. And this year, we are honoring her debut album, Super Duper Fly, with the theme Super Duper Fly Reads. So uh, I'm just going to get into the co hosts and the prompts and everything that we got going. So y'all sit back and relax. Okay, this year, we have added a new co host. Last year, it was myself. My critique partners, Dejana and Britt Riderly. And this year we have added my big sis, Deidre of Shade Tree Reads. You can find all three ladies' video links and their channels down in the description box below, as well as the playlist for last year and this year's playlist. Y'all, this year we have merch. Check the description box below. We have a threatless account for hip hop readathons. A little sneak peek about other things we got coming later. Go ahead and check that description box. Hit that link. Order you a shirt. Get you a, so a bag, a notebook, whatever it is that's in there that you're interested in. And go ahead and make sure you check that out. And who knows, you might have a chance to win a shirt sometime during February. So make sure you are subscribed to all the hosts and hit those notification bells so that you know whenever we go live, whenever we post anything, whatever it is that's going on. And this year's theme is Super Duper Fly Reads based on Missy Elliott's debut album, Super Duper Fly. We picked seven different tracks that came up with seven prompts for them off of that album. Remember, all prompts are stackable, meaning that if you can find a book that fits multiple of the prompts, you can, and that suffices, and you do not have to worry about it at all. We have, like last year, picked two group reads that cover all seven prompts, so you only have to read those two books in order to hit all seven prompts and to have completed the readathon. And again, like last year, in the description box below, you will find the story graph challenge so that you can join that and uh, follow along with us there as well. Without further ado, let's get into these prompts. All right, for <clears throat> prompt number one, we have Why You Hurt Me, a piece of short fiction by a Black author. Remember, I'm going to say this in each prompt, but you know... The number one rule for this readathon is you must be reading books written by Black authors. It's Black History Month. We want to highlight Black authors. Now, I'm not trying to police identities. If the author considers themselves Black, we're going to go with it. Um, but the author must be Black. Okay. Number two is Izzy Izzy I, a book with an onomatopoeia in the title. For those of you guys who don't know, onomatopoeia is like a sound, so it's like clap, buzz, psst, you know, stuff like that in the title. Just in case you didn't know, I didn't know if I had to go get the dictionary or nothing. Okay. Uh, number three is hit him with the he, strong black female lead. Number four is pass the blunt or book in our case. And what you're going to do is a black book recommended to you by a black person. So, you know, you got friends that are recommend you books. And if you don't, there are a slew of black booktubers in the description box below where you can go and watch their content and get recommendations all day, every day. Five best friends, a book co-authored by two or more black authors. I just want to make sure we're clear on it. I just want everybody who's co-authoring to be black. That's all we got to worry about. Like just everybody need to be black is all we talking about. Number six, I'm talking Read a book in a style you're not used to. So that's like if you are used to reading uh, third person, read first person. If you are used to reading tomes, read short stories or a novella. If you are used to reading uh, prose, read a novel in verse. These are ways in which you can just change it up. Just something that's out of your comfort zone. If you don't ever listen to audiobooks, Listen to an audiobook. If you only listen to audiobooks and you haven't sat down and read something physically, read something physically. Like, change it up however you need to. And last but not least, prompt number seven is Getaway. 
read a book not set in the U.S. or the U.K. We we're trying to get out of uh, the U.S. and the U.K. as the predominant locations for stories. So any book that you find, you know, written by a Black author not set in those, you're great. All right, and the super duper fly group reads for 2023 are Africa Risen, a anthology of 30 plus stories written by Black authors, edited by Cherie Renee Thomas, and Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Y'all know I love me some Elizabeth Acevedo. This story is about two sisters, one in the Dominican Republic and one in New York, and them finding out about each other, not knowing that they existed after the death of their father. Um, I have read this, I love this, I can't wait to read it again. I am super duper excited about that. So um, I have ordered Africa Risen, it hasn't gotten here yet, so I will be reading that as well. So you don't have to worry about finding seven different books. If you read those two books, you will have covered all the prompts and you will be good for the readathon. As far as sprints, we are going to have an opening ceremony and a closing ceremony on my channel on both February 1st and February 28th. I will be hosting reading sprints every Monday throughout February on my channel and Britt will be dedicating her Friday morning reading sprints to the readathon as well. And stay tuned throughout the month because myself as well as Dejana, Deidre, and Britt might have pop-up sprints or things that we're doing throughout uh, the month. So definitely make sure that you are following all of our social media in the description box below so that you can stay abreast of that, as well as make sure to check out Instagram for uh, the templates for the stories uh, if you want to share and you want to participate that way. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time out to watch this video. I do appreciate my lovely co-host, Deidre of Shade She Reads. Brit of Brit Writerly and Dejana of Hey It's Day. You queens are amazing and I thank you guys so much. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I can't wait to get my read on with y'all for the Missy Elliott Readathon 2023. Bye! <laughs>